guys, welcome back. I'm Elle from Deep That. You can also find me on Instagram. My username is Dodgy Girl. It's just at the top of the screen up here. Go say hi to me over there and add me if you want to. Today's video is about a bunch of stuff that is launching from BH Cosmetics on the 19th. When I say a bunch of stuff is launching on the 19th, I mean six palettes. Six palettes are launching on the 19th and you are gonna love them. You're gonna love them because like, mmm, mmm, yes, you're gonna love them. Before I jump into the palettes though, I do want to share a brush set that is also coming out with all of these palettes as well because they often come out with brushes when they come out with anything really. I feel like they almost always have a brush set to go with every collection, which is fun. I love that. This is really cute though. It is the Sweet Shop Sprinkles nine piece brush set. These are vegan and synthetic brushes. Their synthetic brushes actually, actually perform pretty well. Um, I don't really have an issue with them blending out nicely, which I think is usually the issue with synthetic brushes is that they don't blend amazingly like not as well as natural bristle brushes usually so whenever a brand can do a good job making synthetic brushes that can blend well i'm just like yes hell yeah fuck yeah and i will just promote that shit all day long so they are one of the brands that does a really nice job with synthetic brushes and i think you'll be really happy with them also another thing about this brush set that i really like is that the handles on the brushes are flat like where the sprinkles are on it is like all flat and it's it's actually really user friendly and it makes it really easy to hold and like use the brushes so that's another reason why I will keep this one for myself because I like the shape of the handle I don't have a lot of brushes with handles like that and now I'm surprised because I'm like why that is like so it makes it easier to like grip the brush I don't know not like I'm flinging brushes around and they're just like flying out of my hands all the time but you know what I mean right this brush set is $24 and you can save 10% off of your entire order if you use the code dupe that. That is our affiliate discount code and it applies to the brushes, applies to the palettes, it applies to anything that you order on the website. All right, now that I shared the brushes with you guys, we can get into the palettes, which I'm super excited for. I'm gonna go ahead and just share all the palettes with you guys and then I will show you how I got my look today using two of the palettes. And I just love these. Okay, so one of the reasons why we all know and love the ColourPop monochromatic palettes is because it is so nice to be like, I wanna do a pink look and have a fucking pink palette that you can just grab and do a pink look. And you don't have to sit there and be like, well, I can grab from these four different palettes and try to make a pink look out of that. I love palettes that just have a nice theme to them because then if I have like every color, if I want to combine colors, I can just take from those multiple palettes like I did today. So each one of these palettes is $18 and there are eight colors in each palette and they're all a color theme. We love to see it. So let's just go ahead and jump into all the colors. So this first one that I just held up is the Bubblegum palette and this is blues. Blues are hard to do. I find that a lot of brands have really shitty blues, especially the navy colors. Those usually just like don't work out very well for a lot of brands, but they did in this. This was one of the first palettes I opened because I was like, let's see how good these really are. And I was on the phone with Kay and I was like swatching them and I was like, damn, they're actually good. Okay. Well, and then I knew it was going to be smooth sailing from there because if they were able to make this motherfucker perform like a dream, uh, they were all going to be a cakewalk. You get it? Cakewalk. Cause it's like the sweet shop. <laughs> But yeah, I love, love, love this blue palette. I can't wait to do something with this bubblegum palette. The next one that we have here is the Cotton Candy palette. This one is like a cute pinky purple pastel type of palette. This is something that I would absolutely gravitate towards in like all of these. I'm You're going to get tired of it. I'm just going to sit here and be like, I love this one. But like, I do really love this one. I love all of them, honestly. There's one that's like a neutral one, which is still cute, but like is not as exciting as the rest of them but like this is so adorable i can't wait to do a look with this like i'm loving this pink color twirl that is so i'm into it it's not even whatever it's not even gonna pick up on there but just know that know that i like that the nice thing about this palette in particular is that every matte shade has a corresponding shimmery shade that is like very uh what's the word 
complementary <laughs> to the matte shade. So they go very well together. So like each one of these little rows right here is a look in itself. The next palette, let's just get this out of the way. This is the sugar cone palette. This is the least exciting out of all of them. I'm just like <sighs> about this because it's cute. It is lovely. It's performs really well. It's a nice palette and like I could definitely see myself grabbing for this to do like a simple everyday look but like for a simple everyday look you know and that's what we're not I'm not here for that right now. Not with all of these exciting palettes surrounding this one. Like if you need a basic everyday palette like sure I would grab this with those because it would be a good deal to just like go ahead and throw it in your cart but I think in my opinion, we're here to talk about the showstoppers, and to me, this one isn't necessarily a showstopper. This is just a nice neutral palette, but if you are not someone who fucks with color and you aren't going to be, like, excited about any of these colorful palettes that I'm showing you, and you would only like to do neutral looks, then, like, this is for you, baby. The next palette that we have here is the Orange Sherbert palette. Oh, I was so on the fence. I was either going to use this one or the next one that I'm going to show you, but I ended up not using this one today, but I will use it soon, especially because I'm like obsessed with that shade Tangerine, this one on the end here. Beautiful. Uh, so this is obviously like an orangey themed palette, and again, everything that you do with this palette, I, I need to not say the same shit over and over about all of these, but it is true for all of them that every look that you do, no matter what color combination you put together, it's going to look so good. But the palette that I ended up using today, I used two palettes. You already know that. I already told you that earlier. But one of the palettes that I ended up using today was the Cherry on Top palette. And I, this is just like so my jam. If you follow me on Instagram, on my personal Instagram, then you know that I just like, oh, I can't get enough of red eye makeup and peachy eye makeup, coral eye makeup. That is just like my shit and I love it. It makes me feel beautiful. I'm so about it. And so obviously when I opened this, I was like, mm, yes, give it to me. And then I immediately put it onto my eyes. So I love this. I'm obsessed with it. I cannot wait to annoy everyone with all my different looks using this palette on Instagram. The last palette that I have here is the Pistachio palette. This is the other palette that I used today since obviously I couldn't have used the Cherry on Top palette for this minty side here. So you knew a mint palette was coming. Um, this is gorgeous, especially this is like my type of mint shades because they're still like a little bit more on the green side than they are on the blue side, at least on the bottom row here. I mean, I guess on the top row too, but the bottom row is very much like green minty and that I feel like is more flattering for me especially since I have green eyes I feel like the blue minty colors aren't quite as flattering on me um so like this is I really like this and again okay same as like the thing with blues blues are really hard I notice a lot of brands have a hard time coming out with very nice performing blue colors but same goes for greens greens and yellows they are, I don't know what it is, something about the color is apparently not super easy to like press and make a nice performing eyeshadow, but oh, did I just have the best time ever using these? Yes, I did. Everything blended super well. I feel like my eye look is so vibrant and beautiful and just like seamless. So I absolutely recommend this. I recommend all of them, honestly. Now that I've shared all of the palettes with you guys, I am going to show you me using two of the palettes, the Cherry on Top palette and the Pistachio palette to complete my look today so you can see it in action. And when I get back, I will give you, I, I was gonna say I'll give you my final thoughts, but you already know what I think. You already know I love them. So when I get back, I'll politely say goodbye to you. <laughs>
So that is how I achieved this look today using two of the palettes out of the six palettes that are launching. What do you guys think of these? Are you super into them? Like, are you, do you just fuck with monochromatic palettes the way that I do? Because when I see them, I just can't help but want to do a monochromatic look. Maybe it's just because I love doing monochromatic looks, even though like today ends obviously two different colors. But uh, I just, that is so my jam. Like I see them and I get horny for makeup, you know? I just want to get my little makeup nut. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. If you're not already, please subscribe to our channel and I will meet you over on Instagram. Username Dodgy Girl. Bye.